Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today I'm looking back at this old HP Pavilion computer that I got a long time ago from someone. I did make a video prior, like a few years back or so on it. I will leave a card to that video as well as a link in the description, but the reason I'm recording it while it's on, I was having issues. I couldn't get it to boot and stuff like that. I'll leave some screenshots right now of what was happening, like the drive was being detected, but it wasn't booting. And I eventually got it to boot because it said to push this to adjust RAM or something, like push a V or something. And I pushed it and like it booted after that and I was really confused. So I don't know if that was causing it not to boot. But I'm going to show you guys the system properties. So Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 2. And it just says HP Notebook PC. I don't know the exact model off the top of my head, I'll probably put it in the title and in the description, but it is some old HP Pavilion. I think it's right here actually or something, I don't know, I forgot where it is, but it might be on the bottom as well. But I did get it booting, and you guys could see that it has 240 megabytes of RAM, a Pentium 3 at 1.13 gigahertz, and you can see it has an update for HP or wants to check for updates, I don't really know. But this computer, I noticed it had crystal disk info, so I opened it and uh, I saw something I didn't want to see. The drive is bad. It says bad right there. It's a Hitachi 30 gig drive. If we look at the information, if I can find the cursor, it's been powered on 2,663 times. The power on hours is 297 days and four hours. That's doing that again. That's fun. So this drive is failing at the load unload cycle count, whatever that is. So yeah, it's also got a caution for the reallocated sectors. I think it's formatted correctly because I know there's like some settings you can change up here like I forgot what it is to make it more legible but I think it is already on that setting so raw values yeah it is 10 DEC it's already on that setting I thought so because it looks a bit different so if you see how many errors there were for load unload there is so many. Like, what? How is this drive working? Although it doesn't want to boot half the time, and because I got it booted, that's why I'm recording the video now. But I do have other plans for this computer, so I actually tried to take the hard drive out because I was trying to record this video two weeks prior. And let's just say I couldn't get it to boot once again. So I got the drive out. But one of the screws on the hard drive caddy got really stripped because it just was too tight and it wasn't coming out. And I know someone that can get the screw out. However, it requires them drilling it, meaning the hard drive will be gone at that point. But because it's already failing, I'm probably just going to go ahead with it. I am going to try and make a backup of this drive first before I do it, though. And then we're going to put in another drive and see if it works and then install something on it. There's no way I'm going to be able to get the factory recovery again, unfortunately, because this drive is uh, pretty much dead and it's probably not going to be possible. But we can try to see if it even has a recovery partition. If there is a way I can maybe get the data, I will. However, the drive is stuck in this computer because the screw is stripped, so I can't take it out. And also, it's an IDE hard drive, so I don't have any adapters for IDE. But if we go to disk management, I'm hoping this drive doesn't fail on me using it. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if it does, but at least it's booting. So, that's a good thing. At least I got it booting, and I did show this computer, like, years ago when I got it in a video. So, there's that if you want to look at that because that probably is more. If I look, it does not look like it has a recovery anyway, because you guys can see that it's a 27 gig drive, but it has a fat partition, hibernate partition, that's so weird. Oh yeah, I did try to boot Hirons on this, um, and it's like, I, I got it to boot before I even had to do that because it booted, so 
I guess that's a good thing. I don't even know if this will boot USBs anyway. It might not. But you guys can see, uh, 27 gigs. There's no recovery on here anyway. I mean, it is sad because I believe this is an OEM partition. However, if there is no recovery for it anyway, I'm probably just better off installing my own operating system on it with my own drive. I just need to get that drive out of the caddy and I'll probably just end up getting rid of it because I do have a few more IDE drives I took out of other computers. I'm not sure if they work or not because I believe they came out of computers that wouldn't power up at all. So I can try them. I don't know what drives for what, but I know I have one in this drawer. So I pulled out another Hitachi and I don't know the size of this one, but this is another Hitachi. It's from 2005. And I don't know if this works or not, but it did come out of a computer I had. I think it was one of those Dell Inspirons, like those two Dell Inspirons that wouldn't power up and one would shut off and the other one just wouldn't power up. It came from one of those. I'm pretty sure that's where this drive came from. I'm not sure which one, but I will try that drive that I just pulled out in this computer once I'm able to remove this drive from the bay because of that stripped screw, it might be a bit difficult, but basically once I do that, the drive's gone. But it's already gone anyway, it's already bad. There, there's nothing to lose because the drive's already failing. There's no recovery partition. Yeah, this is a factory install, but there is no recovery. Besides, the drive is too small that I doubt they would include a recovery. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna call this drive, um, a quits. Let's see if I can get the install date. Oh, it's freaking out. I am not- I'm, like, trying to move it, and it was, like, trying to move all over the place for some reason. I- I don't know why it's doing that. Command prompt. Oh god, stop. The trackpad is being wonky. So, let's see. System info. I wonder if this will work because system info on one of my XP computers literally said it wasn't found. And I was like, what? Yeah, it's not found. I thought Windows XP had system info. Unless that was added in like SP3 or something because it seems like SP2 systems, it seems like system info doesn't exist. So let me know guys, is that something that was like added in an update? Like SP3 perhaps? Because this is SP2, and I believe the other computer was also SP2. It does have an HP folder. I might try and back some of this up. I'll probably just end up backing up some of the stuff that's on the drive, but not getting an image. It's kind of impossible, because right now the mouse is going crazy. But I will try backing up the HP folder. If I can even get out of it. Um, let's right click Windows and do Properties. I, I think I'm just gonna back up like some of the HP folders. I'm doing this to see the install date because this is another way on XP. Created Tuesday, November 20th, 2001. Yeah, I think it's good that I put in that other drive because the other drive is from 2005. This is a really old drive from like 2000, 2001. I really should just replace it. It's, it's 2022, meaning it's like 20 years old. So I'm not surprised that this drive is failing. It's been 20 years. So that's to be expected at this point. So basically, I'm just going to try and back up some of the files on it. I don't think I'm going to bother getting an image. There's no recovery partition. Plus, it probably has their data on it anyway. So maybe it is best that it does get drilled through. But I will get the drive out, I will put another drive in, and then I'll install an OS on it. But before we do that, I want to see what's actually on that other drive I have. And I guess we'll see what's on there. Hopefully the caddy will still work. I mean, it should. But I'm going to have this drive removed. But it stinks that it's failing, but at the same time, it's kind of to be expected. So I also have another IDE drive if the one in my drawer does not work that I will replace it with. So, anyway, this was part one of the video. It's gonna all be in one video, probably still, but the first part is just showing this, and then the second part is going to be putting in another drive, seeing what's on it, and installing something on here. 
this isn't the only computer I'm having issues with. I'm having issues with this computer over here, and I'm not going to show it all the way, but I'm having issues with that computer, and it's really making me mad. So that'll be another video that will probably be actually before this one, or maybe after. It just depends on how far I get. All right, so I'm back with the computer. I'm going to show you guys. This is the old hard drive. I did manage to get it out, and it is a Hitachi 30 gig drive. This is the drive that got stuck in it because of the stripped screw, but a drill got it out. This drive might still work because there's no, like, damage really or anything to it. Although, because it's failing, it doesn't matter anyway. I did back up a driver folder on it that said HP. It had drivers, software, things like that. So now we're going to put in this drive. So this is also a Hitachi, and it's from 2005, but... Whether this drive is good, I don't know. It's a 40 gig drive, I see, from November 2005. So I'm going to go put this in. So the drive is in, and we're going to see if it boots. I have no idea if this drive works or not. It came from some other computer. It might work, it might not, but if it doesn't, I do have another one. Dell.com! Oh, yeah, it's got a factory Dell install on here. Start windows normally. It froze. That is awesome. Alright. That's cool. I'm not sure if it'll boot and because of activation, I'm not sure if it will boot or not. But it looks like this drive might function. It didn't give an air either, it just wanted to work. Except it's frozen now. Let's try that again. That's cursed. Let's see what happens if I... If I start when it's normally it freezes. So that's what this drive does, debating whether I should wipe it or not. So this drive looks like it has something on it and it doesn't boot. I want to see what's on this though, so I might do some testing right now where I might put another drive in it and see what's on the other one. Alright guys, so I put another drive in it, so let's see if this drive works. This is another Hitachi 40 gig drive. I wanted to see what this one would do. Ooh! Wait, why is there two XPs? What? I bet it's gonna blue screen with the inaccessible boot device. Yeah, 7B. That sucks. Um, I'm going to do the thing I did in that one video to fix the IDE configuration. All right, so the videos you guys are gonna see were recorded at least over a week after the last videos you guys just watched. Basically what I did was I did the thing to fix the IDE, but it was really complicated because the computer would not boot any USBs. So I actually had to buy some CDs and burn Hirons to it, which then once I burned Hirons to that, I was able to boot it, but then it didn't want to run anything because it kept complaining about the memory being too small because it has like 240 megabytes of RAM for some reason. I should probably try and upgrade it if I have any more RAM. I don't know if I do. But then I had to grab another disk and put more files on it just for that one program in Hirons to run. And then I was able to run it and it was able to fix the IDE. But after that, I was running into issues about it saying it wasn't activated and it wouldn't let me sign in. So then I had to do Microsoft's phone activation and that was the only way I could bypass it. So once I did that, I was able to get into the operating system, and these are the clips showing the OS. I decided I'm going to make it a separate video on installing a different operating system on it because this video is already long and late, and as well as I have a lot going on right now, so I'd rather just make that separate in the future of dedicating a video 
to maybe installing like Windows 2000 on it or something like that. So anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, so I am back with this computer. I did manage to get past activation for XP and stuff by activating by phone, which was kind of a pain, but they just sent a message and I typed in the stuff and it worked, so. This Windows installation is from 2007, so November 3rd, 2007, and we have 13 gigs free of space and 23.5 used because this is a 40 gig drive. And if I go to the system properties of the computer, which I'm going to blank out the name because there's a name there, but it's not really anything special. There's not even like a Dell thing, even though this is technically an OEM install. And I did see a Dell folder, unless they didn't wipe it or something, I don't know. But we can look through the programs list. It's being really, really slow, and it's like clicking stuff, and it's just being really stupid. So, yeah. Uh. Meanwhile, I'm recording a deployment video over there. It wants to restart, but, um, yeah. Um, I can't really do that right now. So. So I had to open something because the desktop has a lot of sensitive data on it. And I don't want to show any of that. Come on. But these are the installed programs. It's being really slow. I'm just going to end up just wiping it at this point. You could tell how slow it is in the mouse being really ridiculous. But it has Dell stuff. What was that? There's stuff in startup. What is all that? There's some Adobe software on here. The reason I'm gonna wipe it is because it has someone else's data on it and I really don't want it. Even though there are some programs on here, I still wanna wipe it. System restore, this looks like a virus. I saw that on the desktop. Let's actually see what it is because I'm honestly curious because that is not the Microsoft system restore. I can tell you that now. That looks like a virus or something, and I just want to open it, because why not? There's no way this is the Microsoft one. There's no way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Scan PC for errors, and we already found errors. If it's pending a scan, how is there an error? I really want to know that. Four problems detected. I want to know what the problems are. Can you tell me? This is definitely a virus because it's literally finding errors on everything. So this person had a virus on the system. Isn't that lovely? Alright, what's our problems? Hard drive space less than technical limits. Hard drive rotational speed exceeds system limits and may cause a system failure. Disk drive C is unreadable. Damaged hard drive clusters detected. Private data is at risk. Restore is required. Hard drive does not correspond to system request. Boot sector on the hard drive is damaged. <laughs> oh, this is making me laugh so hard right now. Um, RAM memory speed decreased significantly and may cause a system failure. I don't think that'll cause a system failure, but okay. Hard drive rotational speed decreased by 20%. How would it know that? So, is that all the errors? Is that literally all? Yeah, I guess that's all of them. Yeah, click to activate fully functional. I don't think I want to. Fix errors. Do I dare? Sure. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. 
fail to fix. They're all gonna fail to fix. And then it's just gonna be like, you gotta pay for our software. Yeah. You gotta pay for that. They're not gonna fix. Uh, there wasn't even errors to begin with. This is all fake. This is a scam to get you to pay for something you don't need. And I could tell you that right now. As soon as I saw this program, I knew something was sketchy. It fails to do all of them. And also, if the boot sector was damaged, it wouldn't have even started up. So, this is all a lie to scare you. And if disk drive C is unreadable, the computer wouldn't be usable. So this is all one big scam. It's not gonna fix anything. Now I was gonna install Windows 2000, but I might actually hold off on that. Song recommended you fix these errors as soon as possible. To fix them, you need, yep, you need to purchase it. I told you. It takes up 30 seconds, yeah, uh, no. Continue with limitations, why not? And then it just says, yeah, this is just so great. It even starts at startup and all kinds of stuff. Live help and support. Let's do it. Let's open their help and support. Yeah, um, I don't have this on the internet. That's not going to work, but I just want to see what it tries to go to. I wonder if that site exists anymore. I highly doubt it. But if anyone wants to tell me, you can go ahead and tell me. I knew that this was going to have viruses and stuff on it. The reason why I might hold off on installing 2000 is I know this video is already going to be long showing stuff on here. Besides, I'm running limited on time and I kind of want to make a separate video of that, which is why I might just put it on another video. Because looking back is kind of like looking at the history and stuff as well. And I just don't think I can fit all of that in a video and make it, you know, a reasonable length at some times, especially with a computer like this, because it's really, really slow and it takes a while to load stuff. So that's another thing. So I come back after a few minutes and oh my goodness, we got a fake error there probably from that one program t telling us our files indexation process failed. Yeah, I'm definitely wiping this. Work offline. What is it trying to do? Where did our installed programs thing go? Alright, get out of here. Get out, I said. Work offline. I'm just gonna move this. But yeah, these are things that are installed on here. If I can scroll this down. A lot of stuff. A lot of Epson stuff as well. Probably some viruses are on here as well. An old Firefox, Firefox 7. It's got Office as well on here, so that's pretty cool. But I've decided I'm just gonna make the Windows 2000 on a different video since we did quite a bit in this video. So a few more things before I stop the video is that I, I've noticed there's two XP entries and I'm not sure why, so I'm gonna try the other one. Oh, I'm starting to wonder if there's two installations of Windows XP on here because that one doesn't start, but what about this one? This one does start though. But the second one does not, because a how.dll error. I find that really strange. Now while that's booting, let's just take a look at some things in the laptop. So a USB port, an audio jack. I think that might be where the hard drive is, I'm not sure. Then we got whatever this is, maybe a floppy or something. I don't know. Then we got our ethernet and modem thing and that might be like firewire or something i'm not sure but i recognize that and i think it might be then we go this way we have 
some buttons over here. A DVD drive, or CD drive, I should say. It doesn't support DVDs. A vent. And then I go to the back. And here's the ports that are on the back. I can't really look at it too well because I'm holding the camera. But I do have to use this charger because I have to use a tip from a universal thing and if I bump it, it might shut off. So I want to be very careful with that. I'm pretty sure this is where the hard drive is though, which is right here. And there's the model and stuff. Now, I want to see if there's two installations, and I'm going to stop the video, and I will show Windows 2000 on another video. I did find this 2000 disc in another laptop of mine, so I'm going to try this in another future video. I have a remodeling of my office coming up. You guys will probably be seeing this either during or after it. I'm not sure. Also, when I was trying to fix Windows, I made this new folder and put that file, this file on here. Because I was trying to fix the thing. I don't think there's two installations, though. It doesn't look like it. So I'm not sure why there's two of them. But I'm just going to turn it off. It's being really slow. I'm definitely going to erase it. Plus, if someone's data's on here, I really... Yeah... Like, I can't even show the desktop because there's just a ton of files on it. So that's why I'm not showing the desktop. It is a blue background, but like half of the desktop basically just has files on it. This is that other laptop that I showed in the looking back for this, which this video was, it was really interesting. So if you have not seen that, you should watch it because you'll get a laugh out of it. It's just shutting down. So this might be a long one, and I actually wanted to show other drives and stuff, but it's just so much to fit into one video, and that's the problem in unlimited time. But this laptop, I will say, it's got like stuff in the front, which is really cool. Oh, you can still use this even when the computer's off. That's really cool. That'll do it for the looking back for this old HP Pavilion laptop. You will see me installing 2000 on it in a future video because I just couldn't fit it in this one. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And bye-bye for now.